I'm getting older and I'm fully aware that the biggest group of homeless people are older women. I've been to local members and I've heard them on the phone begging for accommodation for me and being told um, the government has promised millions for accommodation but there's no answer for me. In 2022, Northern New South Wales was hit with two devastating floods. Today, up to 1,200 people still remain in emergency accommodation with limited resources. Trish Bowie was in a rental property when the floods hit and lost most of her possessions. Hi, I'm Trish Bowie and I live in the Bayside residence at Brunswick Heads. Losing a lot of things was pretty upsetting. I had even less clothes, less personal items, and it makes you feel even more insecure than you are already. So we were offered temporary accommodation in motels and then offered a pod after applying for it. And that was wonderful. I've had OCD since my early 20s after a series of sad events that set it off. But, um, but it's, it's wonderful to have a feeling of safety. I've been um, seeking help for years for many things, the homelessness, the mental health, um, and it is really not out there help and sometimes people are even rude to you when you ask for help. Um, I don't have any family and friends are a long way away and I'm used to trying to struggle by myself so even though I don't ask for help a lot I know it's there and also um, the social activities. Um, being out having barbecues or participating in craft, it's such a wonderful way to get my mind off myself. Thank you for caring about me. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being there if I need assistance. They make me feel special, which is really lovely because I am getting older and I know as you get older you become invisible. When this ends, I don't have any family to turn, turn to. I don't have anywhere to go. Yeah, it plays on my mind because I, I'm i safe now, but I'm getting older and I'm fully aware that the biggest group of homeless people are older women. And I've been to local members and I've heard them on the phone begging for accommodation for me and being told, um, the government has promised millions for accommodation, but there's no answer for me. I dream big, that's the way I keep going. My dream is that they take these pod homes and put them on little blocks of land for us and set us up and then we just continue to pay the council rates and the electricity and the water and we're somewhere safe.